Okay, hi, this is Amir from uh, Webpreneur University. I'm now sitting with uh, Heba Al Sam, and uh, she's a social media guru here based in Dubai, uh, in, the, in the Emirates, and essentially promoting social media to the Emirati audience. Um, she runs an organization called Emirat Tweet. Uh, and so I'm just going to introduce her and, and see how she got into it. So, um, Heba, just uh, to ask, uh, just how did you get started in social media? What's your thing with social media? Um, I like to try new things. Uh, I, I love gadgets. I love, uh, I love to have a voice everywhere, actually. And uh, when I, when I uh, created the, when I created the Twitter account and you tried to use Twitter, um, I thought of it. Why can't I use it in, in, in another? Other way, other than just personal stuff, to take personal stuff. So I, I wanted to use it to to, to, to aware people and uh, teach people about my country and my traditions and culture. So even though I have my personal account, I created another account for me to to share and uh, expose people to, to my country and my culture and traditions. Okay, cool. So well, how long ago was that that you started tweeting? Uh, I started tweeting. Uh, Last year, okay. and it all started like six months. It was my personal account, and then after that, I created another account that I wanted to use to to teach people about my country and use Twitter to to break to break the barriers between us Emiratis and non Emiratis. And how how do you do that? How do you what kind of things do you tweet on uh, Emirati? Uh, we try to, to tweet about news, uh, about talents. About we try to to promote. Sometimes we, we share, like if we find uh, like there if there is a quote about one, Sheikh Hamad, for example, or Sheikh Zaid al uh, If we wanted to to to, to let per people learn learn about it or remember it, we tweet things like news. But maybe like uh, someone just left the house, and we want them to to know that there is an accident somewhere. We want them to redirect. So we're trying to use it in, in different ways to 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 help people. Whoever is following us. And uh, do you? How do you manage that account? Is it yourself, or there's a group of you that manage uh, it? I used to manage it myself, and now I introduced some of the people in my team to manage it with me. Mm -hmm. So it's it's difficult when you're managing one account. Uh, I, I mean, two when two are managing one account. But we try like to to like whenever we write anything or reply on anyone, we try to tell each other that we did it, so we don't duplicate. And we try to to, to be on top, uh, like to interact with our audience and be on top of news and like tweet the correct and, uh, and authentic news so like we don't lose our, 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 our followers or fans. You know? And how many, um, uh, what, what tools do you use? Do you use Hootsuite or what do you use to do that? Uh, uh, we use uh, uh, we use Upper Twitter. Upper Twitter. Yeah, yeah, and we use the BlackBerry Twitter, and we I use I use the Google Gadget for Twitter also. This oh. is when I'm on the desktop, and uh, we use it, we use even Twitterific and. Uh, the one that's uh, that can be used on iPads and iPhones. We, we use these two. Uh, they, these wow! So. Wow! So okay. <laughs> so you're using. Wow! That's so you're Twitterholics, yes. basically quite uh, into it. Um, what other tools are you using? Or is it essentially based around Twitter? Or you use Facebook at all? We or? use Twitter. We use Facebook. We use our website. We use YouTube. Like for such events like this, we we try to upload the the uh, the event. The, the event on YouTube. We use uh, we use BlackBerry broadcasts even. It reaches faster. Wow. And yeah, we use these tools. Wow. So how have you have you been learning about this? Just trial and error, or uh, yeah, it's just uh, I I didn't like I just did it by like uh, every time I use it I learn something new. So, okay. Like uh, recently I learned that on Twitter like. Sometimes if you're not there, you can, you can set your tweets to, to tweet whenever you're not there or at a specific time. Yeah. So because we want people to, 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 to 
to read us or read our tweets every, every like say two hours or one hour. We don't want to disconnect, so we try to set these uh, tweets also. So, how many followers do you have? Uh, on Twitter, we have around one thousand five hundred. Wow. Okay. And on Facebook, we have around one thousand. Okay. Uh, our website has one hundred and eight uh, subscribers. Okay. And on on on. On BlackBerry, we have 100 uh, users. So, the BlackBerry explain to the, to that uh, how how that works to our viewers because it's interesting. I, I heard the the speaker Aisha, um, and that you can just basically connect. You broadcast it out. How yes. does it work? People subscribe uh, to your BlackBerry. You can, you can create groups on, uh, on BlackBerry Messenger, yeah. and uh, each group you create there's a barcode, and yeah. instead of the, like just uh, instead of just going and putting your pen there, yeah. you can just post the, the barcode, and people just can scan it, and then you just uh, they add you. So, oh, awesome! Yeah. Oh, that's what you have on your front of your website, website right? Yes. Oh, okay, yes, cool. Yes. And the website URL just for people who are wanting. Uh, awesome. And so now you, I'm seeing you forming quite a group yes. um, that you, you guys meet in person as well. Yes. Is that is it regular meetings or is uh, it? We try like whenever there is a uh, there is an event or a course, we try to to do to promote these courses and to aware people about it to teach people. Like uh, social media event is uh, the social media day is on the thirtieth. But what uh, we try to make it a day before, we wanted people to, to learn about it and uh, celebrate it, maybe you can say in an Emirati flavor, you know? Okay. So that's why we have most of our speakers are Emiratis. We wanted to give them a platform where they can say whatever they want, you know? Awesome. And uh, the, the good thing is that I hear it's the only Emirati, it's the only community that brings Emirati speakers, and this is what we want to enforce and, and, and share, share with them. Awesome. And uh, is there a difference between being Emirati and using social media and being an American and no, using it? You there isn't. Think? There isn't. It's just that uh, by uh, me focusing on the Emirati part, it's just like we have a lot of communities here. We have a lot of events that are start initiated by non Emiratis, and uh, there are some some some. Uh, some initiatives which will uh, look at us as aliens in our yeah. own country, you yeah. know. And I just want to, to, to eliminate this, and I, I, just, I don't like it. And I, I want people to be able to come and approach me and talk to me whenever they feel like it's not that because I wear my shell and I buy it, they can't approach me. No, you you approached me. I didn't bite you. <laughs> <laughs> I know I get turned down by a lot of people, but no, very approachable, right? So. No, exactly. And one of the things we're doing with uh, Webpreneur University is um, and brandism. You know, it's that concept that if I'm wearing an abaya or if I'm an Emirati, it's like I'm uh, I must be on a camel. And you know, like, um, especially like you know Americans and you know people that are not outside. I just want to change this this image, yeah. which which was created of us by people. Don't know us. Exactly. So come and know us, and if you know us, and you still that have this image, then it's our bad. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, th this is a cool thing because you know, in the in the last maybe two decades ago, it was Hollywood that influenced the way that uh, we thought about the Arabs or yes. in general. And now with social media, you know, we can just take a two hundred dollar camera, exactly. film it, and then. People are like, "Wow, she's not going." Uh, you know, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, it's like I, I a normal even, conversation. I, had, I was chatting with someone on, on Messenger way back when yeah. Messenger was popular. <laughs> <laughs> back and, in the nineties, yes, yeah. And, and uh, when I told them that I'm from the from United Arab Emirates, and they were like, "Are you are you chatting with us from your tent?" Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm, I'm at my desk at home under air conditioning. <laughs> so yeah, I was shocked actually. Uh, yeah, I put. Um, one of my profile pictures is me with a camel, yeah. and it says, you know, here's me and my camel, because yeah. everyone has a camel in the middle of the exactly. East, right? Exactly. <laughs> so, well, no, that, that's really, it's really cool that you're doing a lot of these initiatives, because it's often scary um, in the beginning to start any organization, but if you look at it, it's grown, you're giving a platform, exactly as you said, for people to speak. Um, interesting presentation today you just had about 
multiple chlorosis, yes. MS, yes. and all these types of things. And that's that's great to form that and start that community. 